On this video, we're going to be talking about the importance of celebrating anniversaries. Stay tuned. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode here at Sobriety University. On this channel, we talk about addiction and recovery-related topics. My name is Joel, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about the importance of celebrating anniversaries and how it helps in long-term sobriety. So, as many of you know, sobriety can be a little monotonous. It can get boring at times, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, there's definitely been periods where I'm like, why am I doing this? I wish I could be out partying or doing dysfunctional things again. Uh, however, this is the path I chose and I knew that if I were to go do those things, that the consequences would be there. Whether I want to admit it or not, every time I would test that <laughs> theory as well, I would always be proven incorrect by life just going awry and being miserable again. And so I knew I had to stay on this path. And so I had to find a way to make it fun, right? And so I found it important to find a way to make it enjoyable, make it something to look forward to because without it, I mean, what's the point? And so that's where celebrating anniversaries comes in or celebrating the little wins, any kind of victory, whether it be a week, a day, a month, two months, six months, a year, five years, uh, no matter how long it is, I found it very important and I think it is very important to, to celebrate these. So the way I like to look at recovery is like a video game. And in a video game, you get the checkpoints. So with each checkpoint, you get a little stronger, you level up, you get new armor. And even just saying that, I'm like, that sounds kind of fun. I kind of want to go play a video game right now, which is another addiction, which I'm not going to even touch. So in the sense of recovery, with these anniversaries, those are pretty much my checkpoints. Each time I reach like a milestone, it's like, okay, I can reflect back and look back at all like the, the growth I've had, uh, leveling up in a sense. Uh, I can see the ways that I've grown and I can just be like thankful I'm not back at level one again. Uh, nothing wrong with level one. Level one was great when I was at level one, but now that I'm uh, not on level one, I don't want to go back there. And that's motivation to keep going uh, and get to the next checkpoint. Um, of course, I can't get too obsessed in the checkpoints now or else that would be, <laughs> that would ruin the point. Uh, however, it is important, I find, to, to, to celebrate and enjoy when I reach a milestone. So for me, that looks like um, going out, making a nice meal, maybe going out to dinner at like one of the few places I can go to, uh, doing something fun for myself, going golf, doing something that I usually wouldn't do on a day-to-day -day basis. And comment down below what you do to celebrate your anniversaries. Something else that's cool about this too is that it ends up becoming like a second birthday. <laughs> like, I'll be honest, probably, I mean, besides the day I was born, um, every other birthday has just been kind of, you know, hasn't been very, nothing to it really. Recovery anniversaries, I mean, gosh, it's like, it's like a, a reborn, it's like being rebirthed in a sense. It was, uh, it was probably like, it was in my awakening. And it's equally as powerful as being born in my opinion. So I just had six years sober from drugs and alcohol. And what did I do on that day? Uh, just kind of what I told you. I reflected back, looked at the day, um, saw how far I came and just experienced some gratitude for, for being at a different place in life than I was six years prior, um, even a year prior. And I, of course, like I said, I went out, I did something fun, I made a nice meal. I just kind of relaxed and, and enjoyed myself. And it really helped kind of get, get the mindset ready for the next year. So it's in a sense kind of like preparing, I guess. It's like, okay, got through this year, uh, gonna reflect, and now we're gonna plan so we can hit another one. Cause well, in recovery, there's only two things you can do. <laughs> you can keep going or you can relapse. There's not much else to it. So with that guys, feel free to comment down below what you guys do to celebrate anniversaries. Uh, and if you find that important, uh, any comments, likes, subscriptions are always appreciated. And uh, feel free to let me know what you'd like to be talked about. Uh, it's definitely fun to hear what you guys have in store, uh, what's on your mind in terms of recovery, and would love to talk about it to the best of my ability. Uh, also, if you are looking for more uh, help in recovery, feel free to reach out. Uh, I'm gonna link the website down below, but I'm starting recovery one-on-one -on -one coaching. Feel free to fill out the form and we can have a little chat and see if we'd be a good fit together. And would love to help you and to get through your 
your, your struggles and, and, and be of service as best I can. I know what it was like at the beginning and having support was super helpful in making sure that I was gonna get to the next day. Because again, it's one day at a time. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day and talk to you next time.